Hi everyone, my name is Antonia and this is Perry Patience and today we are talking about Autodesk Sketchbook. Autodesk is no longer a part of the equation when it comes to the sketchbook drawing application. It is now Sketchbook Inc, a completely independent entity. And I know that so many of my viewers come to my channel because they are looking for Autodesk Sketchbook tutorials in particular and I want to make sure that we give this update to you and answer some of the first questions that come to mind when you are an Autodesk Sketchbook user and this impacts you. Probably the first question on everybody's mind is whether or not Sketchbook will remain free. Over the last couple of years, Autodesk did make Sketchbook a free to use application, which was widely celebrated, although it does come with the added concern that free software means less support from your help desk. One of the benefits of this update, of course, is going to be receiving that help, which is totally awesome. And while you may still get the free version of this software from the Autodesk website, to receive that support and any upgrades in the future, you will need to pay for the new version of the software that is located on the Sketchbook Inc. website, which I will link down in the description, along with the previous versions that you can get from Autodesk. Some of the other questions that might pop up, especially if you're already using the software, is whether or not you will still be able to download custom brushes from their brushes library online. And the answer to that seems to be, unfortunately, no. They are no longer going to be updating the brush library and with some of the mobile versions of the sketchbook application, you already aren't able to download, but it is one of the features we are looking forward to receiving from the Sketchbook Inc. So that might be something for you to consider when deciding whether or not to purchase the new version of the software. All right, so the rollout for the new Sketchbook Inc. software is going to vary depending on what device you are using to do your digital drawing on. So your experiences may vary from somebody else's depending on which one you are using compared to what somebody else is using. There are a lot of blog updates coming out almost monthly on their website that are addressing specific issues for specific devices that I will link below as well so that you can search for answers to your specific issues if you are having one. If you do have any questions about something that you are not receiving an answer to right away or which you weren't able to find with a quick Google search, you are always welcome to ask them down in the comments below. As I've said before, I have more than 10 years experience with Autodesk Sketchbook and I'm more than happy to answer any questions I can for you. One of the other announcements that Sketchbook Inc. has already made and which can be found in their blog if you go to their website and want to follow along is the fact that the Copic library is going away. That is not something that they will be able to retain in the future, but they are introducing some new color-based features in the upcoming software updates. So that's something that while it might be a little sad on the front end, there's a little bit of excitement as well to look forward to on the back end. All of this was announced on June 30th, 2021 on their blog. And if you are subscribed to their mailing list, you would have received it in an email. I know me personally, a lot of my updates come through YouTube and the channels that I subscribe to. So I wanted to make sure that I was getting this information out to you, the viewers who come to my channel for Autodesk Sketchbook as well as other digital art tutorials and make sure that you guys are up to date informed and know what opportunities are available for you. So you might be wondering what does that mean for this channel specifically, particularly if you are a subscriber and you are looking for Autodesk or Sketchbook Inc. tutorials. I will continue to make them on my channel. It is and has been my favorite drawing software for at least 10 years now. I know that that is already where my artistic loyalties lie and you can expect more of those videos from me in the future. So I really hope it was informative and helpful to you. And if you have any other questions, ask them and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if there are any specific requests that you have for a type of tutorial, let me know. If this video helped you, please remember to hit the thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you next time.